it's sort of like a combination of like everything that like people around me and also like a little bit from my family. So the story, like um, that was really based on true life, was that um, it was actually in the short film Fresh Like Strawberries, and it was it's gonna be in the Eat With Me too. And it's basically my dad did cut off his wedding ring in the middle of the night, and um, and then when my mom was watching, this was probably like I don't know, fifteen years ago, and um, and but for him it was just really like. He had a headache, and he like giving him some pain in his finger, and he really just want to cut it off. So when I heard that story, my mom was just like sort of laughing about it, and like wasn't very serious. Like they're still married to this day; they've been married for four years, and so they're they're good. But I think it just stuck in my head that like, what if she took it on and became something more serious? And you know, the rain cutting thing—it's it's more. It means more to her, and then like, what would happen if she like walked away? So that's sort of the base of the film, mm -hmm. and then the rest of it was just sort of like a big imagination of what would have happened otherwise. So you know, and then you know, she moved out, and then she came to live with the son and all this stuff. Yeah. Did your parents like disown you after hearing the story? <laughs> yeah. They're like, what the? You got all that out of us? <laughs> I'm I'm a little nervous because I think my mom just starting to do a lot of YouTube on. <laughs> 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 so you're about to be disowned. The story's been played out a lot in terms of Asian American cinema, right? The family dynamic, and I think we're at an interesting time where LGBT communities are coming to the forefront. Yeah. And so you know you have that layer of the you know lack of communication and the inability to express feelings and that divide between parent and child. So you add on another element. I think that's what L the LGBT issue brings to this, is that <clears throat> let's look at this issue that's been played out in all the Asian American cinema from the 1990s and the 2000s, right? And let's take it to, let's make it relevant for today, which is that additional layer of, you know, how do they deal with, how does the mother deal with her homophobia? How does she deal with this fear that this child does, my child doesn't, doesn't conform to these Confucian values of who he should be in his role and getting married and having children and this whole change of this Chinese or Asian American world worldview, right? It really upsets that because you're really taking these different gender roles now and you're turning them on their head when you bring in the LGBT issue. I think there's definitely also like a lack of representation out there um, about like sort of <clears throat> Asian communities th yeah. within like the LGBT communities as well. There are a lot of gay films, but I don't see a lot of films that are representing like Asian and Asian American sort of family dynamics and also just dealing with issues. And I think there's a whole different set of issues that goes on and within that community. And I think well, that's because um, there's no gay Asians. Yeah. <laughs> no gay Asians. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's a problem. There's a like lack of them. Hey, <laughs> I, I mean, I've known David for a long time. And so when he came to me and he said, I have this script and I want to produce it, and I read the script and I said, I'm on board, because I was really moved by the script, not because there was any role ever in it for me, and I never saw it as a vehicle for my, my acting, I saw it as a vehicle for him and his story. Um, and so I was really compelled by the story, I was really compelled by the emotional connection I had to that, and I felt like this is something that people need to see, you know, this is something that, that has universally relatable themes in it, like as a parent myself, it, the whole mother dynamic of her losing herself and not being able to connect with her child as time goes on and then finally coming to terms with her child as an adult is something that really resonated with me because I have a little boy and one day he's going to grow up and he's not going to want to talk to me and then I'm going to have to learn who he is while he's trying to figure out who he is. So it's like this process of who are you? I don't know. Well, you know, can we do this together? No, I don't know. And so that to me, you know, is really something. And obviously we all have we have mothers, and I have my mother who, you know, has given me lots of fodder for filmmaking and <laughs> lots of motivation and stuff for my backstories. So I think this is something that she would watch and relate to. Well, I think like a lot of the film is sort of about, um, I say like a second chance almost. So it's it's sort of about, I think like I hope the audience will actually take in the message of like you know if you actually take on the chance to like you know, really live your life, even if, you know, it doesn't matter how old you are and what kind of life you lead, and I think if you really want to, like, have a passion in your life, you can fight for it, and I think the characters in this film really sort of, um, that's sort of their journey of, 
within the film and they really sort of you know didn't know what exactly the passion was and didn't know even like they have it and then once they find it it was like the most special thing and unique thing and and I think that's something that like a lot of people can relate to and it, it doesn't really matter if you're gay or straight or if you're Asian or not Asian it's like I think it's the same sort of theme we live in life I guess so I think too because we use food as a way to communicate and as, w as a, a way to find yourself that I just want to make this film so I can eat all the food after we do all those scenes. <laughs> 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 <Bottom line. laughs>